Good morning. Praise the name of the Lord. My name is Pastor Lydia, uh, Deliverance Church Interna International Kayole. And this morning I'm blessed to be sharing the word of God together with you. And I know the Lord will minister to you to the glory and honor of his name. Let's turn to God in prayer. Mighty and everlasting Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, once again, Lord, we surrender our hearts to you. I surrender myself as a vessel you can use to the glory and honor of your name. I surrender those that are listening, wherever they are. Lord, I pray that somebody will be encouraged in your word, that somebody will find hope in you to the glory and honor of your name. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. This morning, uh, I bless the Lord that the Lord has been ministering to us through this week, the first day of this week, uh, we looked at uh, finding courage uh, through the word of God. And the second day we looked at finding courage through prayer. And today uh, we are blessed to look at uh, gaining uh, courage through worship. And uh, I'm excited because I know the Bible says in the book of Psalms that the Lord dwells in the midst of the praises of his people. And so if you want an easy way of welcoming the presence of God in you, then you in, in your life, then you'd rather get into a habit of worshiping the Lord and worshiping him in truth and in spirit. I'd like us to go to the scriptures. <coughs> The book of Exodus chapter number 3 verse 18, I'm just taking you back to Exodus 3 because we've been looking at it. Uh, in verse 18, the Bible says, Moses talked to Pharaoh according to what the Lord had instructed him. And he said, let the people of God go into the wilderness so that they can serve, they can sacrifice to their God. And I want to believe that one of the sacrifices you can do uh, before the Lord is worshiping him. <clears throat> the book of John chapter number four. The book of John chapter number four. Uh, uh, this is a, a, a very powerful scripture. I'd like us to read verse, um, verse 18, uh, verse 19, sorry. Uh, it's about the, the Samaritan, the Samaritan woman. The Bible says in verse 19, the woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and you say that in the in Jerusalem is the uh, that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour comes when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship you, you, you worship you know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour comes and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in, in spirit and in truth. Praise the name of the Lord. We bless the Lord for his word because his word is forever settled in heaven and his word is life unto us. Today we are speaking about getting courage or drawing courage through worshiping the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That scripture we have just read tells us brethren that uh, people can worship in many different ways. But the Lord is drawing our attention today and is reminding us that it's not about worshiping in whichever way people have tried to teach you, but it is worshiping him, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in truth and in spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. That tells us that you can still worship, but not in truth and in spirit. I want to believe that you can still be in the congregation of brethren and lift up your hands even as others are lifting up their hands Yet your mind and your heart and your soul is somewhere else. That is possible. But the Lord is reminding us today that there is power in worshiping him in truth and in spirit. And one thing that has caught my attention 
today in that scripture is that the Father is seeking such to worship him. That tells us, brethren, that there are not many worshipers who are worshiping the Lord in truth and in spirit. And my prayer is that even as we go through this devotion, allow the Lord to minister to you and to correct you and to rebuke you and ask him in whichever way you can do it right now, ask him to help you to know exactly what is this that you're doing that you're not able to worship him in truth and in spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. The book of uh, Luke chapter number 10 verse 38. We see a woman <clears throat> in Luke 38, uh, 10, Luke chapter number 10, verse 38. The Bible says, the Bible says in verse 38, now it came to pass that they went and that entered into a village, a certain village, and that woman, uh, a certain woman named Martha received him into his into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, do, don't you care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she may help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing that is needful, and Mary has chosen that good part, we shall not be taken away from her. Praise the name of the Lord. My prayer, my earnest prayer for myself and for you, is that we would find our place at the feet of Jesus Christ in worship. Many a times, brethren, it is so tempting to find yourself in the presence of God and all you have is a list of what you want God to do for you it is still okay as a child of God to bring your supplication. But the Lord is seeking for those that would worship him in truth and in spirit. Just being in the presence of God, just to say, Lord, you are awesome. You are wonderful. Imagine God has not asked for anything so difficult for us to be able to just come before him and worship him for who he is and acknowledge that he is Lord over everything. That is all what he's asking for. But this time is reminding us that we must do it in truth and in spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. And in finishing, I'd like to look at the scripture. Uh, let me just paraphrase it because of time the story of Jehoshaphat in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter number 20. The Bible says Jehoshaphat came to a point where he got some bad news about some kings that were coming together and armies that were coming together against him. And that was a troubling season for him. And I want to believe there are people who are listening to me and they're saying, Pastor, do you have an idea of what is happening? what is standing before us as a mountain, what is surrounding us, as scary as it is, we do not even know where to begin. But today I want to encourage you that even Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat found himself in such a position. But the Bible tells us that Jehoshaphat went to inquire from the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Lord instructed him and he told him to let Judah go before them. Praise the name of the Lord. I will paraphrase that scripture because it's a long scripture and I do not want to take much time. But let me tell you, uh, Jehoshaphat, after he heard all that the Lord was giving instructions through one of the men of God around him, he bowed down and he worshipped the Lord. And he, he, from there, he, he, he ordered worshippers to go. And the Bible tells us that the Lord said, you do not have to do much. You just have to position yourself. And I want to believe that positioning that the Lord is asking you to do today, no matter how bad that mountain uh, is before you, no matter how tough things have been this past week, I want you to position yourself in that. You just close yourself and decide, Lord, even in this one, I will worship you. And I will ex exalt you because you are God and you deserve to be worshipped. And the Lord will do the rest for you. The story of Jehoshaphat is an encouragement. For those that do not know that story very well, I want to remind you that after Judah had gone ahead, the, uh, the, 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 the ministers and the people who worshipped 
went before and they worshipped. The Bible says the enemies, they, they, they gathered against each other and they began to slay each other. And Jehoshaphat and the rest of the children of Israel were surprised that all they needed is to gather the good things. Those people had destroyed each other because of, it was not because they went into a 40 days uh, prayer and fasting. It is good if the Lord guides you to do so, but it was because they turned to God in worship and in honor of his name. May the name of the Lord be, be exalted today. May the Lord surprise you in this week. May he surprise you by you just taking him at his word and going back to him and telling God, even in this one, I will worship you. And the Lord will take you from one level of glory to another, to the glory and honor of his name. I'd like us to end there today. And I just want to speak to those that have heard me. And they're saying, we do not even know the, the Lord as King and Lord of our lives. We do not even know where to begin to worship this Lord. I want to give you an opportunity to pray this prayer briefly and the Lord will come into your life and he will be Lord and you will worship him in truth and in spirit. Pray this prayer after me. Our, my Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you and I acknowledge that I am a sinner. I come to you and I ask you to forgive my sins. I ask you to take the center stage of my life. Be the Lord and King over my life. Thank you for forgiving my sins. And from today, I will live for you. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you so much for giving your life to the Lord. And uh, if you've prayed that prayer and you believe, you can join us in Deliverance Church International, Kayole. You can also go to a church where Jesus Christ is Lord and they believe in the word of God as it is in the Bible. I'd like us to pray even as we close our devotion this day. Mighty and everlasting Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, I want to thank you, Lord, for this week that, Lord, you have encouraged us in your word, that we can have courage in you through your word, that we can have courage in you through prayer, and we can also have courage in you through worship. Father, Lord, we exalt you because this is so timely. Lord, many of us are going through a tough time. We do not even know where to begin. But this morning we choose to honor you and we are saying you're the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Lord Jehovah, we thank you because Lord, when you take charge, everything falls in place to the glory and honor of your name. I pray for those families that are devastated at such a time as this. Jehovah, they do not even know how to utter a worship before you. How I pray that supernaturally, you will cause them to worship. Lord Jehovah, in truth and in spirit, Lord, I pray that you release a spirit of, of supplication, the spirit of worship in them. The Lord Jehovah, through this storm, they will know you in a deeper way and they will come out victorious to the glory and honor of your name. And in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.